Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's site. How the devil are you? I hope that you're banging today, mate, because this is going to be a banging video. The channel that we're looking at today is a extremely good channel, one of my favorites, and also, apparently, they gave me a shout out the other day. So thank you so much. Look at you. <laughs> this is a channel called Paranormal Nightmare TV Series, okay? Make sure that you go over to their channel you subscribe to their channel. I do the thing, okay? This one is called Extremely Haunted House. Tragedy! Tragedy! True Crime. Paranormal Nightmare TV Series 16, Episode 1. Okay, right. There's something about this channel. It's very... It's like... Uh, how, how, can I, how can I put this? A lot of channels, it's either... Really exciting, like, high energy, or it's very calm, slow, and, you know, very much British-like. <laughs> but this channel, it comes across quite calm and collective and relaxing. But in the same way, it's got, like, a high energy to it without even trying. It's fucking brilliant, right? I love this channel. So anyway, talking about subscribing, <laughs> please, if you're into paranormal, freaky deaky, horror, the weird and the wonderful, subscribe to this channel. It's free. And get me to 1 billion subscribers. We're almost there. Okay? <laughs> Thank you so much. Right. Without further ado, Dardilly Day, let's do this. Okay, I changed my mind. I don't want to uh, watch that particular video because it was covering something that it's it it would it would drain my energy it would, it would just get me down all right so um i'm going to i'm not to say it's bad okay i'm just saying it's different to what i wanted to watch today but i really 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 wanted to i really 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 love you or is it want you whatever i think it's want you uh, whatever right but i really really wanted to react to paranormal nightmare tv series today i really did okay so if you're watching Paranormal Nightmare TV series, you know me. I normally wait three weeks or more until I watch a video. Now, please. Please. Could you just, just let me, just let me have this one, okay? I'm, it's going to be, it's a two week old video, right? Just don't bully me. I'm going to, I, I want to watch this one. Okay, it's two weeks. Just let me have this one, please, okay? Please. This one's called The Demon Wants Us Dead. Warning. Paranormal Nightmare TV. Okay? Now, again, make sure you go to their channel, subscribe, and do the thing. Without further ado, Dardilly Day. Let's do this! I hope I'm not in trouble in this. Like, I'm not in trouble. I made up my own... I made up my own bloody rule of three weeks. Okay? I made up my own bloody rule of three weeks. It's not his rule. It's not... A, it's my fucking rule. I might change it. To two weeks. It might fucking change it to tomorrow. Might change it to I'm going to watch before you've even fucking recorded. This is my twin statement. I really do feel like that's what it is. This came from my twin. Who was that? I really, really, really do not want to get back. I really, 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 really want you. <laughs> back here. But I'm I made that sound. No effing way. This thing loves death. Loves it. Death. Non-stop. All around us. I'm gonna get you next. Ace hey, That was not her. I know what it is. After you leave from here, cleanse yourself. I see what's coming in. It's not good. Whatever this thing is, it's dangerous to the point where it can, it can take your life. It oh. loves death. That's what it feeds off of. Everybody that we have talked to, it's either caused problems or it's taken their lives. I see you living in my heart. I see you living in my dreams, baby. We first moved here August of 2021. When we moved here, everything seemed really good. Everything was pretty peaceful and everything. We were doing construction on the house and everything. It seemed like things got worse after about a year or two. That's when things started falling apart 
with this house itself. You can feel something watching you. You can feel something watching you and following you. Mm. We've had something evil follow us for a long time. My dad. That apparently, you know, it, I'm not saying it's, I'm not, I'm not believing her. But it, remember a while ago, I discovered that, that if you have a feeling of being watched and paranoia and stuff like that, okay, check your CO2 alarm. Right, I'm not saying it's not paranormal, but just double check it because that apparently, if you if there's high CO two in your in your house, it can make you paranoid, make you feel like somebody's watching you. Safety tip there, and if your CO two is okay, you're fucking haunted. <laughs> I was not a very good person. He was a very evil person. He's did he's done a lot of evil things. He would bring things in with him. And when we were laying in our beds as kids, we would see it creeping up our wall. Oh, He's done what? some really evil things. It's just brought a lot of negative, bad things in our house. I was so scared in that bathroom that I literally engraved a cross in the paint because I was so scared. It's Jesus. torn our family apart. This thing loves death, loves it. Death nonstop all around us. The first one to go was my twin. My sister was an officer. She was such a bright person. She had a lot going on for her in her life. And I'm sorry. You know, she was such a beautiful, bubbly, bright person. It wasn't her. I know it wasn't her because that's not the kind of person she was. When my twin um, took her life, For her to just automatically just one day just take her own life like that. That was not her. And hey, I that's bad. mate, that's straight from bloody console time. Know what it was. I know what it is. It's followed us our whole lives. Times where I've stayed with her and I've seen it mess with her. I've seen it scratch her. I've seen it pin her down. That was going on, it just How? got to her and I have her urn in the case. A lot. Is it consultine? Is it consultine or consultine? Whatever, mate, but I might get the tattoo. With her hair, her blood is still on the hair. I just couldn't get rid of it because her hair was like her life. Before I put her in the cabinet, I had her in my room and that's when it was messing with me. That's when things started to really get bad. But this time it's really taken a toll on me, especially after my twin passed. I had her urn and her hair in my room, and I started feeling something messing with me. I started feeling something just weighing on me and pulling me down. Oh, I would fuck. just lay there, and I would just feel it just lay on top of me. Hey, that's sleep paralysis, mate. And that's when it started getting really bad. And then I heard a whisper in my ear, and I heard it say, Ha, huh, I got your twin. Oh, shit. I'd be like, fuck! I'm gonna get you next. Oh, mate, I'd be like, fuck off, mate. Who the shit do you think you are, mate? Come on, then, bring it on, little bitch. I'm not having that. Who the, f <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are? It's Rambo, that shit. Man, she's but really I, cut up about this. I heard it plain as day. I heard it. I was just laying there and I just felt it on my head and I and that's when I knew that it was in my house, you know, because you could feel it and you can hear it. And it, it was talking to me and it was taunting me. You may have been able to get my twin, but you're not gonna have me. Oh, fucking hell. That's what I really feel. I really do. Because I know that it was not her. Because she would have never done anything like that. You know, she had a lot go for her life. She was a very bubbly person. She was a really great person. I know it's not her. She would have never done that. She would have never ever just given up like that. She's stronger than me, honestly. Oh, she was stronger than me. She's the one that gave me my strength in life. If it wasn't oh, for her, God. I I hate hearing about like that people like you know taking their own lives. My my stepdad did it, 
And I, I don't know, I just... One, one film that I always remember, <coughs> which was one of the best films in history, is called, with Robbie Williams... No, not Robbie Williams. <laughs> Robin Williams. Was it Perfect Dream? Perfect Dream. Perfect Dreams, I think. Field? No, not Field of Dreams. It was when he goes and, tr like, his, 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 his wife takes her life and he goes to rescue her. And, like, all, all all the flowers and that uh, 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 oil is everything's an oil painting and stuff. It was an absolutely amazing film. Dreams was it called Dreams? Whatever, man. It was so damn good. I was I was remind I was when I hear about things like this, I always remind takes me back and reminds me about that film. You know, such a magical film that. <laughs> I wouldn't be here to this day. It was not her. That's something that was really evil. And I believe it because I felt it. Now I feel it in this house. That's ever since I brought her hair home. Something like that traumatic happens. And that tainted blood is still on that object. Then of course that's gonna bring in something. And that was her, that was Crystal. She's told me to fight this thing. She told me to keep going, Beautiful climb, well, keep eh? fighting. I would hear something whisper in my ear, telling me to myself. I would fall asleep and I would have nightmares. I would have dreams of something wanting me to hang myself. Like oh, I had dreams hell, of man. making myself a homemade noose and hanging it up in the bedroom somewhere and hanging myself. It honestly makes no sense to me because she would have never done anything like that. And that's you can really tell that this is dragging her down, man. This is tough to listen to. Not the only person that we have lost either. It's like after my sister, we had this guy, Steve, that was living with us. He passed away from cancer. He was doing really good before he came and lived with us, but it's like, like he was in fight or flight the whole time. There was Justin and somebody ran him over with his girlfriend. They got ran over and it was just instant death and then my brother just found out his friend um that was in a vehicle he passed away car accident because of all the that is going on there's so much death going on it's just insane like how much death is going on and then we lost like final destination going on in there mate lost his dad he was supposed to just go to the hospital for a bypass that's it I guess they turned him wrong somehow and he just passed oh like that. Crazy. It's one thing oh. after another. I really do think that they're all corresponding together just to make that happen. I really do. And it happens in an instant. You don't see it coming. It just, and that's why I ask you guys, like after you leave from here, cleanse yourselves. Real he's like, now he's like, right, okay. We just want to make a YouTube video, mate. We're going to go. <laughs> Like, what the hell? Because I, I really don't trust this thing. Even if you cleanse this house, I don't want anything attaching to you. And I don't want it hurting you guys. Like, I don't want you guys to, you know, like before you guys came here, it was like telling me in my ear, oh, car accident, oh, death. I'm like, no, this is not going to happen. You're not going to hurt them. You're not going to hurt any more people. What this is the... enough. Enough is enough. You've already taken so many people out of our lives. You've already hurt enough people. Like I said, that's why I had to call you guys, because the deaths back to back. back mate, I ain't being funny, man. But these brothers, I, I don't know, mate, if I'd want to do that bloody house, right? And I'm not being funny. I know, like, a lick of paint ain't going to do anything, right? And I know I, I, I'm just talking pretty much bullshit right now. But if I was going, if that shit was going on in my life, and we all have different sort of, you know, tastes and styles and things like that. But I would get rid of every single fucking skull that she's got in the background. Anything sort of like, anything devilish, death-like, you know, I would, I would scrap it all, minim minimalistic my house, paint it all like white and yellow like nice flowers up on the wall, open the curtains, let some light come in and just be positive and just say like, do you know what I mean? I, I would just be like, fuck all this death and dark shit. Let's have some light and positivity, okay? And kill it with kindness, kill it with positivity. Be, just be so positive. 
all the time. The ghost just goes, oh, fuck this, I can't be asked, and just goes. Can't take much more. I see what's coming and it's not good. Whatever this thing is, that's what it wants. It likes death. It, that's what it feeds off of. It feeds off of your depression. It feeds off of everything. Yeah. It was so bad to the point to where, like I said, I had to put, I had to lock up my sister and her hair in that death cabinet. I could not handle it anymore. And I had to like literally bless that cabinet, whatever it is. When you let it out, it's like opening a divot box. As soon as you take that out, boom. It's like you feel it all around you. You it's so freaking heavy, and especially in that back bedroom. In that bedroom, I've experienced a lot. And I've heard it talking in my ear, telling me that, that it wants to take me. It wants me next. I've seen what it can do. And it, it's not something to mess with. I've seen it take so many lives. I've seen it hurt so many people. I'm just hoping and praying that pretty much you guys can help me get rid of this thing because I tried so hard and I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I can't she do She looks it. bloody tired and exhausted. I was losing any more people and I'm sick of this thing messing with me and trying to get me. So I'm hoping that you guys can catch this thing and get rid of it. It's dangerous to the point to where it can, it can take your life. That's what it likes. That's what it wants. It loves death. That's what it feeds off of. You all need to cleanse yourselves because it likes to cause harm. Everybody that we have come in contact with, everybody that we have talked to, it's either caused problems or it's taken their lives. You guys can open that caro cabinet and talk with her, but be careful because like I said, it's like opening a Dybbuk box and her hair is in there. This is our death cabinet, that's what we call it. So we have Chris's mom in here. There's Robert. Uchi. I know like, you know, I mean, I've got my grand's ashes somewhere in the house, like, you know, um, I say somewhere in the house, that's really, so, like, I, I've got my grand's ashes, right? It's somewhere, we, like, I, I'm just saying, I'm not, it's not somewhere in the house, but if that was going on, I know you get attached to it, right? But I would, I would be tempted to spread the ashes somewhere. Just get it out of the house, you know. Just take take her ashes to her favorite place that she used to go to, or whatever. I don't know, man. But I would be tempted. It would cross my mind at least. It's probably crossed her mind. Which is his dad? He just passed away, and then my twin is right here. That's where my twin is. And her hair is right here behind her. You just gotta be careful because if you do open it up, it's like opening up a divot box. When I had her hair sitting in that room, that's when it would literally attack me the most. And it was leaving bruises, it was leaving marks, it was leaving handprints, and it was touching me inappropriately. And it was whispering in my ear, telling me it wants me. This was his bed. And we had him set up in here. Sometimes when I'm standing here in the kitchen and I'm doing dishes, I will feel something standing behind me. This is the room where it always feels like really heavy. Like this is the room where I heard my name called. Like I was laying here on the bed and I was laying here and all of a sudden I heard somebody right there in that door just go, Rachel. Somebody was calling my name and that's when I knew. That's when it all started. Like like feeling the heaviness and, and being attacked and being touched <coughs> inappropriately, everything. Like to make you try to like make you feel good, but I don't like it. I tell it to leave me alone because I don't want that. I don't want it touching me. I don't want it messing with me. This is my twin statement. I really do feel like that's what it is. This is, this came from my Would you, should you acknowledge it? If I was going to acknowledge it, I'd be like, whatever, dickhead. Get a fucking job. Hey, look at you. Try to, try to scare me. <laughs> whatever. Or just totally ignore it twin because it's it's really heavy i don't like it oh oh mate that gives me the shivers that gives me the chicken right now we've got rachel out here with us sean is inside the house by himself and we keep hearing knocking coming across the monitor Because of the tight conditions inside the house, we have decided to go in one at a time during our investment. Like, this is what I'm saying, man. I'll get rid of this shit. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. You know, I, I, I just, 
I don't know, mate. I, I would just, just clean, like clear the whole thing out and just make it fresh and nice and positive. For everyone's safety, we will monitor everything from the outside. With everything that's been getting bad, there's been a lot of deaths, family, friends around her. I'm hoping that we're safe after this. Who's in here messing with... Alarm right behind me, going off. Right here behind me, Rachel's sister, sister Crystal, they have her hair in here. I wanna know who's in here messing with Rachel. Come on! There's enough things in here. There's stuff back there in the bedroom, out here. <gasps> Look at that massive orb there, mate. Now, that was an orb and a half. Check this out over here on the left. Out here. Oh, did I? Bedroom. Oh, no, no, no. Twat. Hang on. Out here. Who uh, put marks on her? Come on, it's just me and you. Yeah, man. See, that doesn't look like dust. You know, it just doesn't move or look like dust. I heard something. I think it was in the kitchen. But the thing is, with all the energy behind me, that's in this glass case. <gasps> Was that somebody that has passed away and your energy's in this glass case over here? Was that you? If you want me back here in that bedroom, I got alarms back there. You can set them off. Crystal, if you're with me, can you set this alarm off? My name's Sean. Sorry for what happened to you. But if you can hear me, can you uh, do something? Let me know that you're here with your sister. Now you're just watching. Wait, what's that, that bloody walking about and that? Listen. Let me know that you're here with your sister. Now you're just watching over her. I'm going to leave the alarm and leave a camera on that. I'm... Oh, that might have been like in editing where they've accidentally had his walking. Overlapping the, the visual of him chatting. I'm going to head back here. We get anything back here at this case, maybe that will set the uh, REM pod off. <gasps> REM pod's going off right now. Who's with me? Who's doing that? Okay, walking back this hallway is like spooky. He reminds me of a WWE wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. He just reminds me of one. And she says that she gets a lot of energy from this back bedroom back here. Now, I figure what I'm going to do is I'll kind of just do a walkthrough, see what I feel, what I can hear, see if any alarms go off. And I'll tell you what, you do get a darker feeling in this room back here. Somebody back here with me? Maybe you're the one messing with Rachel. Here we go. It's going to happen. Can you give me a sign? Hit me, baby, one more time. Just heard a noise, but I have no idea what it was. That hallway seems like it's a lot darker now. Did I just hear you walking? I'll tell you what, this one room back here... I don't know. I was going to set an alarm up, but it just feels... Yeah, I don't know what it was about this room, but earlier when I was setting alarms up, I came in here, and I got the weirdest feeling. I mean, I can't even describe the feeling I got when I walked in here. Mm. I, I, I got a funny feeling one of them is going to feel sick. You know? One of them is going to have a, like a sicky feeling in their stomach. Would you like to show yourself to me? Rachel. Cold chills down my back right now. <clears throat> I just heard a voice. Mate, that's not breathing. I heard a voice. 
I heard you. Come in here. I'm going to turn something on you. You can talk to me. Hey, I got a device here. If you want to come talk. My freaking left leg's starting to hurt. Come on out! What the heck's going on here? This room's a little tight. His left leg's starting to hurt? Boy, it's time to come talk to me. Oh shit. Oh. Holy crap. Asshole. Ah, hey, fuck you, you man. me an asshole. And the alarm, right when the alarm went off. Yeah. Hey, wow. very nice. Okay, that was freaking crazy. That was so crazy. Why is that thing is like going nuts over there? No, another orb. This thing's like freaking going ballistic. And during all that chaos, no, another it's, it's all I down here, I mate. Heard a little like a girl's voice. Right there. The heck was that? the hell oh, is going, going on here? On here. I'm gonna just leave that off. Be quiet. Why you want me to be quiet? It's like I come over- Hey, this ghost got some right attitude, eh? We're here and sat by this. Let's go over by the couch. Because, like I said, there's so much energy in this case. Let's try it. Because if one of in here, I want it to talk to me. Not just call me names. What the heck? That freaking rim pot is going. Kitchen. Oh, yeah, go, go in the kitchen, mate. Okay. Go in I'm there now. Go in the kitchen. Okay, good. Told me to go to the kitchen, so let's see what happens. Okay, I'm in the kitchen. Why'd you want me in here? Roger. 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 Over and out? Who's Roger? Roger's not a name I'm familiar with. But we'll have to ask Rachel. I'm here to talk about Rachel. Leave here. Oh, man. No, we're not leaving. It smells. It smells. We're not leaving. Not until we help Rachel. I'll tell you what, being in this house, you get drained really fast. Come closer. To where? Well, I don't know where you are. You didn't want me in there, so... You want me back in the living room? I came to the kitchen like you wanted. Rocky. What the fuck? I'm sat here trying to set this camera said Rocky. up so I can sit over here on the couch. And it just said Rocky. Yeah. Well, you want Rocky in here? I just feel so freaking weak right now. I mean, so weak. He's going to get Are ill. Are you wanting to hurt me? He's going to get ill. That's not like what the fuck was that? Me. What was that? What was that? Shush. Shush! That sounded like it was just right there behind the camera. It's got right up. Are you with me? Hang on, what the fuck is... What is all this here, man? Can you tell me what your name is? Does this have anything to do with a curse? Mate. Crystal, if you're here with me... Can that... you tell me what's going on? What's trying to hurt your sister? No good. Yeah, I know it's no good. Is there any way to stop it? Crystal, please, come talk to me. We want to help your sister, okay? If you can hear me, and you're able to talk to me, Please come over here with me. We're going to need your help tonight. 
Hide now. No. Okay, that's not good. I'm not Just going to hide. Just trying to scare him, isn't it? Come and help me fight this battle tonight. If there is anybody out there that can hear me, I need you to come join me and fight this battle. I'm talking to the darkness in this place. If you can hear me, we're going to make you leave tonight. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, mate. T tell him and piss him off. I think I got his attention. <laughs> yeah. Did Let's I get go. your attention Let's go. now? <gasps> Shush. What the heck was that? There ain't nothing you're going to be able to do. What? Oh. What the Mate, that's like walking that? around or something. There ain't nothing you're going to be able to do about it. So I hope you're ready for a battle. Yeah. That's so Lay weird. the smack down. After that alarm went off and I stood my ground, it's like everything has gotten a little bit quiet. Oh, that's Calm it, mate. You scared him off. You scared him off, yeah, mate. Josh going to come in here and talk to you. Yeah, get Josh in there, mate. Not all of us. Not all of us. Please go. Ain't no That's way I'm going. That's freaking crazy. See, I talk about leaving. Then this thing finally talks and says, please go. You know, it's dark. Yeah, it's definitely dark. But you know when it says, please go, it's like I'm getting a feeling that's trying to get us out because of whatever. What do you mean? Is the darkness what even in here mean? with me right now? 19. Mate, th th this is chatting like Maximus. Could write a book in a minute. 19. The hell was that? I'm going to walk back to the bedroom one more time and just see what happens. Do one walkthrough and then I'll probably go get Josh and he can come in here. Punished. Who is punished? I'll tell you what, when you get up there and get walking, it does. It just feels like it's like you're freaking drained. No wonder that girl's energy zapped, mate. If he's feeling that, he's only just got in there. I'll tell you what, you walk back here, I just get, oh, I get the word. Imprisoned. Imprisoned. Yeah. Cemetery. Is there a cemetery around? Yeah, I think it's time for me to go. I just, I don't know. I feel weird, man. It's like I'm getting weaker and weaker, and, and I don't really want to be in here too long yeah. if I'm too weak. He's, yeah. he's going to be ill, mate. He's going to get ill. Let's go get it, Josh. Okay, so Sean just left the house. I'm heading in right now. Crazy thing is, just even outside here on the land, it's pretty creepy. Go on, mate. Rambo it. Rambo it. Josh alone inside the house. No way. And that freaking alarm, like, hardly ever goes off. Are you in here with me right now? So right behind me in this cabinet, they call the death cabinet because there's several urns with ashes in it. I would call it something different than the death cabinet, would you? I mean, it'd be funny, but I would call it like the memory cabinet or something, you know? Not the death cabinet! Dude, that thing keeps going off. What the fuck was that, mate? Josh, what the fuck was that? Tell me! Oh, F me, man. Fuck that! Yes, us. Dude, that was a female. Oh, who's the God. female I just heard? Whoever's inside this house, yeah, that's trying to affect Rachel and communicate with Rachel, and who has been following Rachel. I want you to come forward and talk to me. 
Crystal, are you set the alarm off right behind me? Crystal, if you can hear me, we're here to help your sister. Oh, mate. And I think we're going to need your help to get rid of whatever's inside this house, whatever affected you. Crystal, I hope that you're no longer in pain, no longer scared, and we just want to help your sister. Are you over here by this box? So they say whenever they open this Yeah, cabinet, open up. Open that shit up, mate. Let's go viral. Let's go. Things really pick up. I don't want to open the cabinet, but for the sake of helping Rachel. And views. <laughs> Imagine. Fucking hell, fucking he smashes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, God. I fucking love these guys. I think it's a push. Push it. Oh, oh, fuck. You've done it now, mate. Fucking hey, the hell. cabinet's open. Josh, you've done it now. Dude, it just felt like this whole place vibrated. Oh, mate, I sort of felt that. I heard it. Did that it. upset you? I mean, as soon as I opened that up, it literally felt like this entire place vibrated. I, I heard it. It was like a car going You're back in the bedroom. Room. Come out to the living room with me, please. Whoever is affecting Rachel and whoever was affecting Crystal... I command you to come forward. Make your presence known. Oh. Oh, fucking hell, man. Oh, my God. No, no. Oh, I don't like that. I don't fucking like that shit, mate. Because, oh, man. Oh, mate. That's what she's hearing. I'm trying not to be like super aggressive. Oh right? my God. Oh God. Because it, it touches a nerve as well. Because I told you, right? About my stepdad, what he did to himself, right? It, it, it messes with me, man, seeing that, hearing that. Right now, because if whatever is inside this house is as bad as what... Rachel says it is. I don't want to do anything that's going to put myself or my brothers in danger or put this family in any more danger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where did you come from? This is like one of those cases like you're literally afraid to move. Who mm. was touching me out in the van? That's what she said. Okay, I closed your cabinet. Crystal, is your sister in danger? I like keep hearing like a female. Like right out here in front of me. I've got cameras over there. Is this because of Rachel's dad? Did he do some bad stuff? New SP7 and see if we can get anything from that. What? Oh shit. What's he doing? Okay, so I set my alarm inside that case. Ooh. If there's anything inside that case, 
I put an alarm in there. Can you touch that alarm and your energy will make it go off? Oh, straight away, mate. Straight away. Josh, it just happened straight away. What is your name? There's no freaking way. That alarm hadn't went off until I put it inside that case. Can you go up and set that alarm off again? Do it again! That'll help validate that you're really in there. It is getting so cold right here. What the fuck was that? But he's legit seeing something or hearing something right now. I know you're in here. It just got cold in here. You set that alarm off. Now can you set the one off back here? Yeah, come on, pussy! In this case. Walk up and set it off again. Oh, shit. I heard something knocking in there. Yeah, knocking, mate. Banging. Oh! Oh, my God. What is that? What the... What is this? Nothing. It's okay. Move away from that alarm and set the other one off. Oh my God. Mate, that was you saying bolt shit. Now that one's going off. Leave the case and come out here with me. Okay, I'm backing away what? from the case. Oh, mate, this is freaky deaky, man. Good this stuff. is freaky deaky. That alarm. And what's crazy is when the alarms go off, you feel like the temperature change in the room. And you do this long enough, you realize, you know, pay attention to what your body's feeling. I got a device here that you can talk to me. More robes. Is there anybody inside this house with me? Chris? I heard Crystal. I heard that gonna fight. What is your- I didn't hear leave now. Name. Who is inside this house? I don't think that's it's Saturday. That just sounded like it's it it. Where did you come from? The fire. The fire. Whose hair is inside the case behind me? Ooh. I think like I said it's mine. My name is Josh. Yeah. What is your name? Can you tell me how you died? That was pretty damn clear. I, let me let me try and work out what it said for me. I go best. I go best. I go best of that. Are you the one affecting Rachel? You cold? I heard that. Epic box and see if we get yes and no responses. So just to set this all up, guys, I've got alarms. I just put an alarm inside the case that's been going off. 
you know, whatever's inside this house has been like bouncing back and forth between that alarm and the alarm over there on the table, like on command. You can answer yes and no to, if you get close to it, this side is yes, this side is no. Okay, I've got the device right back here. If you're the one inside the case, say yes or no. Oh. It just said yes. Yes, just went off. Do you? <coughs> Do you know Rachel? Yes. Are you making people die that come here? No. Are you in the bedroom? No. no. Are you in the living room with me right now? Yes. Are you attached to one of the items right here behind me? Good question, yes. Okay, I'm going to move away from that case. Okay, I'm gonna move back to the bedroom. It is like super creepy out here. It said that it's attached to something in that case. Ask a question and wait. Note at your own risk. What the hell is that? Where are you at inside this house? Oh, when you come back here to the bedroom, it's like crazy creepy. Hello? More orbs? Who was that? I really, really, really do not want to go back here. I really, 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 really. I'm I made that sound. No effing way. Holy shit. Who Man. are you? Who <laughs> are you? Katie. Katie. Who in the hell's Katie? Back in cell. I don't want. Oh, cold spot. Cold breeze right here. Katie? Oh, mate. Are you the evil spirit inside this house? No. Okay, I'm going to continue to push back to this bedroom. Dude, I, I think it's about time you got a new cap, right? Let me know. I've got some Caspersite caps. Right, tell me. I'll send you one, right? It is so freaking creepy back here. Where are you at? Lies. lies. What lies are you talking about? Where did you Don't come? Kill people. They believe you have killed people. Oh. How many people have you killed? Yeah, this room has got like maybe. Maybe it's trying to protect the people that are being killed, and it's just it's just not 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 doing it. Such a heavy feeling to it. I want to know why you're affecting Rachel. And if you were the one that she's here. Oh, she's here. Who's here? Who's here? Yeah, the woman breathing and gasping. Crystal, are you here? Rachel said when she's in this bed, something touches her. Because you get like a female presence here. That's just kind of the feeling I get is like a female presence. And the name Katie, I wonder if that means anything to Rachel. Are you the one that hurt Crystal? Anxiety. That's I'm what she's got right now. It's more of a heavy, hot feeling. I just want to know what you want with this family why you're affecting this family and why you've hurt so many alive. people. Alive. Do you wish that you were alive? We're going to help this family tonight. Steven. I feel like the name Steven may have came up in the interview. Steven. Who is Steven? 
Wasn't that the boy or something? Spirit. Oh, no way. Steven is a spirit. Is he the one that's been hurting everybody? No. Definitely getting a headache back here. It's like a pressure, like right on the back of your neck. Was there a curse put on this family? I want to know who that Steven is. Mate. That's out. Fuck. Yeah, go on, rob with me. Who made that loud banging sound? Here I am. Yeah. Can you move location? Yes. I'm moving out in the hallway right now. Yeah, yeah, get in the kitchen. Oh shit, he's got he's got technical audio problems. Who are you? Who are you? Why are you here? Oh look, she's got fucking radar and everything. I mate. heard you. Can you hit that again for me? No, I can't. <gasps> no way. You did it earlier, do it again. Obviously. Holy crap. Get a bit cocky now. That's like one word that I say all the freaking time, obviously. <laughs> Were you the one setting my alarms off? I, I just lit up. It said, it said the yes. The woman scares me. Oh, what? I mean, that's like literally the craziest thing is like when you move out here, you immediately feel like hot flashes. G get rid Are of you that attached to an thing. item inside this case? Our settlement. Oh, and she did say that. So a little bit of the backstory, so you guys know, they did a lot of work out here. They tore down this huge tree. After they tore down this big tree, people started to have an experience. So this isn't the only house here that has experiences. Oh wow! But they believe that this land is tied to the Native Americans. My home. Oh. My home. Did they disgrace your land and upset you? No. I'm getting responses behind me. Was that you? Mate. Surprise. Surprise, surprise. Oh, shit. Run. Mate. Surprise. <clears throat> Mate, was that the window? Okay, that was loud. My camera. Oh, my alarm's going off. Mate, I'm not being funny, right? But... In your house, if you just heard a noise that loud coming from somewhere, like that's legit something. You're not gonna be like, like the houses don't generally make noises. I mean, they do occasionally, you know what I mean? But like that is a noise and a half. Surprise, loud bang and the alarms are going off. Yeah. I'm gonna bring Rachel in here. No, sir. Yes, we are. Yeah, we are. Rachel's coming in here and she's going to face you. Yeah. I just want to see how this thing reacts with Rachel in here, if she's okay with doing it. So let's go out there and get her. Whatever's inside this house is so freaking intelligent. I'm in here by myself. Oh, shit. This is your chance oh, to talk to me. Oh, yeah. This is the my first time okay, talking. Okay, get ready, everybody. Get your belly seatbelts on, mate, all right? Because this is going to be a fucking roller coaster. Let's go. You. Come on. Give me a sign that you're in this house with me. You wanted me to talk to you this whole time. Well, now's your chance. Yeah, come on, Rachel. Rambo this shit. It's weird because I keep seeing something right there in that corner moving. Amber. Wait. Yeah, you've got shitloads of orbs going around you. I can just feel this heaviness over me. Like I feel in the bedroom. Like when it's hard to breathe. I feel like this, this, this heaviness. Is that you? Look, these orbs. Crystal, I know you're here with me. I just felt something. 
I just felt something push my chair. Like I felt like something just like kind of like kind of shoved it a little bit. Where? In the back. God, it is so heavy in this house. I feel it so much. It's like you feel like this dizziness. Blessed. Yes, I've blessed this house. And I'm going to keep blessing this house. I'm going to keep cleansing this house. There was like a slight tapping in there. Is that you? Are you tapping? It's so fucking heavy. Look at that thing. Steve, if you're here, can you let me know? No energy. Ooh. No energy? You have no energy? Just touch one of those uh, alarms. There's an alarm right there, right by the couch. An alarm in here you can make it go off if you can just let me know if you're here okay yeah get the energy from that i feel my energy just being drained right now it's like it's, it's like when, when you're just standing there and you feel like dizzy yeah i just heard a tapping yeah i heard that it's, it's a, like some, I just heard a tap. It's like when, when you're just standing there and you feel like dizzy. I just heard a tapping. Like more of a scratch that was. It's like something is grabbing my leg right now. It's freezing. Are you grabbing my leg? It's warm. Yeah, it is warm in here. That's why I can feel you. How it feels in that bedroom is how it feels in here now like it felt like it's followed the guys around the house oh, it's getting so hard to breathe in here oh mate it feels so heavy like something's weighing down on you i just heard something in the bedroom find me oh shit let's play hide and seek i'm not chasing you come on you come to me yeah well okay fair enough I really honestly don't want to get up out of this chair right now, honestly. <laughs> because of the feeling of this house right now, I don't want to move. That's I'm the room. I'm not moving from this chair right now. That's the room that is freaking out. But I feel out. like this is like the calm before the storm is what I'm feeling. Make one of those alarms go off again. There goes an alarm. Start. Oh. What did I say? What the fuck did was that an echo of start? Did she say start after after the thing? Listen. You you hear start, start. Listen. Start. Did she say it? Start. Oh no, she said it. What did I say? Start. Sean. Oh, you want Sean in here. This is not your home. This is my home and I'm going to be in here. I remember you. Yeah, I remember you too. You're messing with me. Enough is enough. That's enough. You're leaving tonight. Yeah. This is my house and I'm taking it back. Yeah. Enough is enough. You've already taken so many people. You've already caused so many deaths. You have done nothing but destruction. You have done nothing but have destroyed people's lives. Oh shit! And that's gonna end. Yeah, this is good. It's that's gonna, gonna, gonna end tonight. I feel like this cold spot touching me Satan. right here. Satan. Yeah. Okay. If you're Satan, do something. You've already taken so many people. You have caused so many deaths and so much destruction. Mate. What the hell was that? That was multiple knocks. Are you moving stuff around? Is that you? To your left. Oh, shit. Yeah, to my left. Can you make this alarm go off? Oh, mate, would you, if I said like to your left, I'd be like, uh, well, I, I would ramble it, but most people would be like, oh, 
God. Imagine her face is there like, uh, uh, blood dripping out of the mouth and shit. To me, right on my left arm, I feel a cold spot. It's right here. Satan. It's twice it said hey, that, Rachel. though. Yeah. Try talking to your sister and just see if you get any responses. Okay. Crystal, are you in here? Try to make one of these alarms go off. There's one in here with you. You can just touch it. It will not hurt you. Other side. Huh? Mate, maximum banging. I know you're on the other side, but you can still come and talk to me. What date is it? It's 2023. What the fuck is going on now? Alarm. Right next to the Kiro cabinet. Other side. Did you just make that... Can you make that alarm go off again? Oh, there's another alarm. Are they, Are they saying to put the, the sensors on the other side? I might need to take a break. What? I didn't hear I that. thought I just heard somebody scream. I might need to take a break. Are they saying, like, move the sensors on the other side? Maybe, I don't know, fuck knows. This thing is, like, taking all the energy out of me. Hey, guys. We're coming in. Okay, thank you. Rest in peace. Walking. Oh, shit. There was something right here. I felt some coldness right here, making this go off, this alarm, and then it, it kept going over there and making that alarm go off. Just, I kept feeling no. that. I no. Feel it's cold. It's so cold right here. Right here. You can feel it. Like, it's like freezing right here. It keeps going back and forth. And it said to your left. It's crazy how it said to your left on that because I felt it as soon as it said that. Boom. Like, I felt it right here on my side. It was right here to my left, and I kept feeling a cold spot. It was moving stuff in there, too. And I kept feeling something grab me right here. Like, it was grabbing my leg right here. And it kept poking me in the back. Yeah. I'm gonna step out, because, whoo, my... I keep seeing spots, like, white spots, because it's, like... Let me grab uh, that mic off here real quick. I'm really dizzy. Like, it's, like, drained my energy. Jesus. Oh, Lord have mercy. If you're back here, can you just go ahead and come in here with me? Come on, Rocky! Is Crystal's sister in this house at the moment? Yes. Do you know that your sister still loves you and misses you? I don't know what the hell that was. Is that you or her? Yes. I'm not, yes. Do you understand that you need to leave to go to the other side? No. No? Oh. Did yeah, you well, come you here after they cut the tree down? Ooh. Yes. Are you from... That's weird, man. It's weird how it always goes over Rachel's there. Rachel's childhood? Yes or no? Yes. By cutting the tree down, did that release you? Yes. Mate, you did me? you hear that? Oh, so listen. Yes. Do you want me to leave? Yes. Were you brought into their life to bother them? Yes. Rocky's like a professional getting this shit done, mate, isn't he? That's crazy, man. Wow. Yeah, like cold chills. Do you have anything to do with Crystal's passing? Yes. Did you talk to Crystal? Yes. I'm sitting here with a ghost here on. 
What the hell, mate? Hey, you got time for virtual reality gaming now, mate? Got some investigation to do. Black in the house. And it's even darker with this because now I can't see if anything comes up to me. But what was crazy was that while I was putting this on, getting it set up, a bed showed up. And it looks like something was sitting in the bed. I just can't see it. What? If there's a woman... What is this thing on his head? ...in here. Can you show me a picture of a girl on here? When Rachel was in here, you called my name. So I came back. What was that? You can come sat next Audio to me. Audio glitch. Oh, this war gets scary. What? Oh man, like bent over or something. What? Is this some sort of like AI? Is this sort of picking up some sort of infrared in the room and then turning it into AI images or something? Because if so, that's fucking amazing. There. I just heard the woman's voice again. What? Tap it. Okay. I hear you. <laughs> It's so creepy because I'm hearing like a woman's voice and it's so faint. What? Here we go. I get so nervous. It looks like art. Oh, is that? So the alarm goes off every time there's an image? What the hell is this? This looks quite... Weird. <laughs> what could that be? Oh, it's a. I think it's horses. If you're evil, you put something up here really evil. If the darkness is in here, come over to me. There we go. Let's see. Oh, mate, that's creepy. A tree? Oh, a tree! And then the image before, I've, I've for some reason, I thought of Native Americans. So it's the Native Americans and the tree that has been chopped down. No way! They cut a tree down! Yeah. That, and it just showed me the a picture of a tree. And the horses? Holy crap. Because a lot of this activity started when they cut that tree down. Yeah. That is freaking crazy. Okay. I think I've had enough after that. I'm sorry about your tree. Something. I think something. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> something just touched my knee. Oh, here comes another picture. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is that mate, you're that's, showing me. That's straight from Salvador Dali. Please, whatever you do after we leave here, don't hurt us. And I, like I said, I'm sorry that they cut your tree down, okay? I think I'm going to go ahead and call it. It's kind of like emotional because knowing about that tree, that blows my mind, honestly. We come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we pray that you please watch over us and defend us during this cleansing and just keep us safe and cast the spirits out of this house, good and evil. Crystal, you did come through and talk to us tonight. We just hope that you're at peace and that you know that your sister and your family love you and they miss you. We seal this room with the sign of the cross. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we command that you leave this house it is Jesus Christ who has authority over this house now. We seal this bed with the sign of the cross. We close all entryways, doorways, and portals that may have been opened inside this house. 
We seal this room, we seal this threshold with the sign of the cross. We cover this house in the blood of Jesus. We close all entryways, doorways, and portals. Any spirits inside this house, good and evil, we cast you out of this house. It is Jesus who has authority over this house now. We call on the Holy Spirit to fill this darkness with the light of the Holy Spirit. Let there be no dark places for the evil ones to hide. We seal this case with the sign of the cross. Any and all spirits that may be attached to items inside this case, we want you to go be free and go be at peace. Lord, we pray that you continue to watch over Rachel as we leave and we move on to the next case and the next family and that you just keep her safe. We pray that all the attacks on her stop and that she can live in peace. Lord, anything that has attached itself to Rachel or any curses that has been put on her or her family, we break that curse in your name and we pray all those things in your name. Amen. Wow. Since investigation, Rachel has, uh, has had no more activity take place in her house. What? Well done. What the mate? Okay, that was bloody good, man. As always, from this channel, and I really like the way they bless it come the end. Like, I've never seen people really do that, you know. I mean, I know that Twin Paranormal they say like, "There's the door, there, there's the light, go out," like you know, and things like that. I mean, obviously they say a bit more than that, you know. But he actually he's got the tools and shit, mate. And it goes round and starts blessing and stuff. And he's doing all the Bible stuff, mate. It's, it's awesome. Thank you so much for watching, mate. Make sure you go to their channel, subscribe and do the thing. Make sure you subscribe to this channel as well for more Freaky Deaky Paranormal. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Get the merch at caspersite.com. Just Rambo it.